Have you ever wondered why you have model names that ends with 8B or sometimes in case of Llama, it's 70B? So for example, if I select 70B here, it says you need to run Llama 3 colon 70B versus if I click on 8B, it's a default model, but it says Llama 3 colon 8B. So what does 8 means and what is B here? Now, B stands for billion. And in the context of a model name, it means a billion parameters. And what are these parameters? So if we go back to the high school math and you have solved the linear equations or quadratic equations, you may have seen equations like these. Now here in y mx plus b, let me just remove this, m and b are two parameters in this equation. So the total number of parameters here is two. Now, if we look at the another example here, A, B, and C, there are three parameters in this equation. So when we talk in the context of an equation, the first one has two parameters and the second one has three parameters. So if I go back to the example where we were looking at Lama 3, 8B means a model has 8 billion parameters. And in the context of 70B, it has 70 billion parameters. Now, another way to understand this, if these are, let's say, hypothetically, the model equations, the first model represents a brain. And this brain has a certain size. Now, when the, when the equation is a small and the number of parameters are less, it has a certain size of a brain. But as it increases in size, the size of the brain tends to increase. Now, what that means in this case, if I go back to the models, when we look at 8 billion parameters, the size of that brain is 4.7 gigabytes. And size for the 70B is 40 gigabytes, roughly around 10x increase in the size as we increase the number of parameters. Now, the thing is, more parameters typically allow the model to capture more complex patterns in the data, which in turn allows them to produce more accurate and sophisticated text outputs. Now, having said that, if you have to choose between 8B and a 70B version of a Lama 3, it doesn't mean 8B is an inferior model. By all means, it really depends upon the use case that you have at hand. In fact, for my own use case, I never use 70B for a few reasons. Once the size of a model is large, the inference time it takes to get me the output also tends to increase, which in, in general increases the overall time I'm interacting with the model. So I prefer to have a smaller model because for general purpose tasks, the smaller models tend to perform really well. But the idea is that if we ever read about 8B and 70B or any other open models when they, when they code a number followed by a, a letter B, it means how many parameters they have encoded in that model. So I hope that this was useful. If it was, and if you want to learn more, feel free to like or comment or share with someone who would get benefit from this video. And until next time, keep trying, keep pushing yourself, keep learning. This is an interesting space and there is a lot more that you can learn and also produce and in terms of the output. So keep trying hard and we'll see you next time.